Hello, my name is Stuartis and welcome to a new Object D video. Recently, I've noticed some of you had problems installing Object D and also using the new CLI. So I thought, let's make a video about it. And here it is, how to install Object D. First up, Object D uses the Dart programming language, so you want to install the Dart SDK. You can do that with the link in the description below. And here you can select Windows, Linux or Mac. And under Windows, I can recommend the installer for it. Just download it with this link here. And then you can follow the setup wizard right here to install Dart conveniently. Now to edit your code, I would also highly recommend a code editor for Dart, Visual Studio Code or IntelliJ are the best selections. And here you also get IntelliSense, autocompletion, code highlighting and so on. So download it here and set it up. Once you've done that, this should look similar to this. You go to the extensions tab right here and search for Dart. And there should be the Dart language support. And you just install it to get the code highlighting and debugging and so on. Once you've done that, your RDE is set up. But of course, we also have to install Object D itself. Therefore, open the PowerShell like that. The Windows command prompt would also work. And here you just install the CLI, so the command line interface, by using pub global activate object D underscore CLI. And this takes time to install. And this brings features with it like creating projects, building projects, and so on. Now check if the object D command is already available. If it says a red text right here, inject object D into the path. You can do that with this command here. This is also found in the description. And now object D should be available. If it isn't, restart your computer. And here in this help menu, you can now see there are a few different commands here, new, run, serve, and server. So if you want to create a new project, run object D new and give it a name. And then you can go into this project by calling CD test and running code dot to start Visual Studio Code again. And here you can see you have your projects here and also your popspec.yaml. Just save this file here or click this button here and this will try to get the dependencies including object D. And now you're ready to go. One little tip, you can also click this terminal up here and create a new terminal. And here you can run object D serve and whatever your index file is, index.dart. And this will watch the entire project here and regenerate it with hot reload automatically when something changes. Now you successfully installed object D. If you need additional help getting started with object D, I'll link the sample project right here. Or you can also watch the entire playlist with each of the widgets. I hope you have a fantastic day. See you soon.